Abraham and Sarah, Genesis 12 through 17. Abraham loved God, and so did his wife Sarah. One day, God told Abraham to move to a new land. So along with their helpers, Abraham and Sarah packed up everything to leave their home and go where God had asked them to go. Before they went, Abraham and Sarah prayed to God to guide their ways and help them make the right choices on their journey. Abraham's nephew was Lot. Lot and all his helpers went with them too. The helpers began to fight. There was not enough grass for all the animals. So Abraham said to Lot, you pick the land you want to live on. Lot chose the best land with the greenest grass and the most water for the animals. Lot moved to his new home away from Abraham and Sarah. Then God gave Abraham a blessing. All the land that you see I give you and your children forever. I will give you more children than every bit of dust on this land. Also, you and Sarah will be blessed with many children. God led Abraham and Sarah to a place called Hebron. It was beautiful. God said to Abraham, look up at the sky, count the stars if you can. You will have as many children as you can see stars. One hot day, Abraham was resting near his tent. He heard footsteps. Three men were standing nearby. Abraham came out to greet them. Would you like to rest in the shade? We have plenty of cool water to drink. Can I get you something to eat? Abraham asked Sarah to make a tasty meal. While they were eating, the three visitors shared some very exciting news. Your wife is going to have a son. Sarah heard what they said. She laughed, thinking I'm too old. God asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Anything is possible with the Lord. Sure enough, next year, when Abraham was a hundred years old, Sarah had a baby boy. They named him Isaac. Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and all who hear about this will laugh with me, that we would have a child in our old, old age.
Isaac grew up and had children. And then his children had children. And his children's children had children. And many generations later, Jesus our Lord was born into this family.